Friends often ask me how to terminate patch panels. Today, I'll guide you step-by-step -step through the process of terminating patch panels. First, we need to remove the cable management bar from our patch panel. Just give it a snap, and it will come off easily. Let's get a closer look so you can see what's going on. On our patch panel, there's an A and a B. A represents the 568A standard, and B represents the 568B standard. We usually use the 568B standard more often, so we'll follow the 568B standard. First, cut the network cable and strip the outer sheath. Then, separate the wires into two groups. For B, the first group is white-orange, orange, white-brown, orange, white, brown, brown. The second group is white-green, green, white-blue, green, white, blue, blue. We'll arrange the wires in this specific order. Separate the two groups of wires. First, press the white-brown wire into place. Then, the brown wire. Next, press in the white, green, green, and blue wires. Once the wires are properly positioned, we can start punching them down using our COBTEL punch tool. Hold it vertically like this and press the blade outward. If it's not tight enough, just punch it down again. Usually when it's tight enough, the excess wire at the bottom will snap off automatically, so we don't need to cut it with a knife. Then, on this side, Okay, this group of network cables is all set. We'll repeat the process for the remaining cables following the same order. After we're done, we'll reattach the cable management bar. Once it's back on, we'll bundle the punched down network cables together and secure them to the cable management tray. And that's it. Our patch panel is ready to go.